Now it's time for an exercise. For this one we are using the rivers dataset of our base. So you should have it on your computer including the data documentation. The first task would be to get familiar with this rivers dataset. You should then find out how many observations there are by using this data documentation. The plot we are looking for is a plot of rivers against its index. In the plot you should name labels and header. The header should be in red and you should use the enter shortcut of R to get the heading into two lines. And at last you would choose an appropriate point symbol in green which is not the default one. The final result should resemble this plot over here on the screencast. Alright, next I will present the solution, so pause this video now and revisit as soon as you have a solution or you are stuck. So we had to work with the rivers dataset. This one is in the datasets package of our base. That means if we run question mark rivers we get all the info on the dataset. We learn that it has 141 rivers, which will be the length of the x-axis, the index. So we state x is from 1 to 141. The y data is simply rivers, the length of those North American rivers. Now that we have our data x and y, we can start setting up the plot itself. It's a simple scatter plot of our base using plot. Then we state x, y as our data. The color should be green, therefore we use the argument col for color. We change the point symbol to say number 20. The main title I'm gonna call length of major North American rivers. I use the enter abbreviation here to get the quite long text into a new line. I'm going to use col.main to color this main text in red. To remove the text of the xlab I'm gonna set xlab to empty quotations. And the ylab I'm gonna call length in miles. If I run those lines I get this plot which resembles the one in the exercise description. Alright guys I hope you had fun using the plot function of rbase to produce your probably first graph in R. The fun thing about this sort of programming is that you instantly get feedback from R. You can see what you just coded.